Hi, I'm CB, and in this tutorial I'm going to talk about custom shadow making with Vellum. I'm using Photoshop Elements 6, but this will work pretty much the same in other versions of Photoshop and Elements. Vellum is a little bit different from the other custom shadow technique that we did because of the transparent nature of it. So some of these steps are going to be the same and some are going to be a little bit different. The first thing I want to do is I need a non-transparent copy of this vellum heart that you see here so that I can make selections based on it because right now if I hold control and try to click on the thumbnail I get a warning dialog here that tells me it can't make a selection it's just too transparent. So with the vellum part selected I'm going to hold control or command on the Mac and then hit the J key about oh, five or six times until if you see on your screen it's really no longer transparent at all. I've got all these copies stacked on top of each other now I'm going to merge them together with the top layer selected of all these copies and then scroll down and click on the bottom layer while holding shift so that they're all selected then I'll right click and hit merge layers so now all those layers are in their own copy and if you see in my layers palette I've got the original vellum part plus this thing that says layer one copy seven because there's like seven of them now I'm even going to go ahead and turn that off I don't need to see it I just need to use it to make selections when I hold control or command on the Mac and click on the thumbnail now you see I can get those marching ant selections made I need a new layer between my vellum heart and the paper so I'm going to hold click on the paper layer here and click on the new layer icon so it puts it there. I'm going to hold down alt and backspace or that would be option delete on the Mac and then it will fill that selection now with black and I'll deselect. Here's the part where the tutorial is pretty much the same as the custom shadow tutorial where we can blur it out, filter blur, calcium blur. I'm going through this very fast because you can always look at the other tutorial. Somewhere between 4 and 6 use the smudge tool, start pulling certain areas out and, and nudging other areas in just like the one doing this pretty quick again like I say I'm kind of strapped for time in this tutorial so uh, the only other thing of course now you look we've got all this black in the center we need to get rid of so I'm going back up to that invisible layer that I've got here of the heart that's no longer that I can make selections out of rather and then go to make sure your shadow layer here is selected and hit the delete key or backspace on the Mac and deselect and you can see it's left a little bit of black on the edges but it's gotten rid of all the black on the inside in fact I would probably have gone through and gone ahead and renamed that shadow just so I know because looking at the thumbnail it's a little hard to tell that that's that way so, and then of course I guess I'd lower the opacity so that looks really good for the custom shadow but I'm going to do one more little trick that I've started doing with vellum recently that's pretty cool and that is we're going to blur the background paper that is being covered up by this vellum because vellum has sort of a, a um, frosted look to it I guess that tends to make the patterns that it's sitting on a little bit blurry anyway so if go back up to this layer that I'm using for selections hold control or command down and click on it to get your selection back go to the background paper layer and hold control or command and then the J key once just to make one little cut out piece of paper in that shape now this is very important hold the control or command again and click on the thumbnail of that paper cutout because when we blur this we don't want it to go beyond the bounds of that paper the you know the selection we don't want it to go past so blur Gaussian blur and I think about 10 when I was doing experiments here it looked pretty good and hit OK and you know you see how it's got a much more frosted appearance to it I'm going to deselect here and show you a before and after here. Here is before we did all the custom shadow making, how it's pretty flat and certainly doesn't look realistic. And here's after we've put the custom shadow on in the blur. And you can even lower the opacity of this one layer that we blurred of the heart down if you think you've put maybe a little too much on. So you can see here's before the blur and here's after the blur. But it's much more realistic, I think, and looks pretty cool just be sure that when you do this step of blurring the paper that you've already got your piece of vellum in place on your layout exactly where you want it otherwise you're going to have to go and cut another piece of paper out and sort of do it all over again so make that your final step probably link all your layers just to make sure nothing moves or that they all move together but anyway it looks pretty good I'm CV I hope you found this tutorial helpful and thanks for watching